we're going to just return to this uh, fundamental accounting equation, discuss it a little more. I had said before that we impose this rule of assets equal liabilities plus equity, but really it is actually more of a self-evident truth on which accounting is based. If you think of uh, assets as a um, current or future benefit, then we have to ask the question, where did those benefits come from? Now, if we divide the universe of people into uh, owners of the business or non-owners, then we can say that the source of the benefits of the business come from either members of one group, the owner group, or the non-owner group. If the benefits come from the non-owner group, then we, the business, owns those no, uh, owes those non-owners a debt. So the non-owners are the group uh, under whose uh, debt we uh, record in liabilities. And the source of our assets from owners is recorded under that category of equity. So our assets come from either debts to non-owners that the business owes, or it comes from the hard work, entrepreneurship, and uh, good fortune of the owners. So I'll just put entrepreneurship here. Okay, so that's that's kind of self-evident that the asset, the 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 uh, benefits from the in the assets have to come from one or the other, and that is why assets must always equal liabilities plus equity. I'm going to introduce you to a new concept here, and it's the concept of uh, uh, debit. And debit has got nothing to do with debt. Debit is a an accounting term that means an increase in an asset. Now, I just want to look at the concept of debit from another perspective. In accounting, we are essentially uh, tracking the flow of values, the flow of dollars, uh, I'd said uh, earlier, but I'm going to generalize that and, and say it's the flow of value. Now, we have to unitize uh, what we mean by value, in other words, quantify it. And in our modern world, values are determined or quantified by dollars. And so we come to another uh, definition or another uh, uh, characteristic of dollars, and that uh, dollars or cash are a unit of me a measure, unit of measure. And what are they measuring? They're measuring value. And how is that value determined? Well, in a uh, capitalistic uh, or a free enterprise system, value is exactly the point at which a seller is willing to sell something of value and a buyer is willing to buy. There's other ways of assigning value, but uh, in our society, essentially, it's the point at which uh, uh, the price at which a seller is willing to sell and a buyer is willing to buy. So what we're, if we're tracking the flow of values, we can think of uh, uh, the flow of values as, uh, you know, think of it in terms of an old hose model where value goes in and value comes out. And when we take value from something we call, uh, we record that transaction as a credit. We call it a credit. And when value comes out the other end, we record it or call it a debit. Now, let's give some examples of that. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. <coughs> so 
suppose we borrow $500 from the bank and put it into our cash or bank account because we're going to uh, start our business. And so we owe the bank, so we have a bank debt of $500 and we have cash of $500. So the recording of the bank debt, because that's the source of the value, would be a credit. And the <clears throat> where the value wound up, which was in an asset called uh, cash in the bank, would be our debit. And so when we record a, a, a transaction in accounting, what we're doing is recording a debit, a credit, the source, and the destination, a debit. And when another a typical transaction would be uh, that we take uh, $100 from our cash and we pay uh, one of the DJs. And so uh, we owe a DJ some money, so there's a DJ debt here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pay them. So the, the, the source of the cash is the bank, so that becomes the credit, tra uh, tra credit side of the transaction. And the destination of the cash is to pay off a debt, so that becomes the debit side. So if you want to get to your, uh, y y if you want to, when you start out, you define a debit as an increase in an asset. And that's a good textbook definition of it. But practically speaking, the debit is the destination uh, side of a flow of value through our books. So a debit could be a reduction in debt. So in that case, a debit could be a, a reduction in debt. If, in fact, we're paying a debt and the destination of the cash is to reduce the debt. Another typical transaction would be to take some of our inventory of handbills and distribute them. The credit is to inventory, which is the source of the flowing value. The debit is not to another asset. Uh, it's also not to reduce a debt, so it must be to an account under equity. Remember, I said in an earlier video that if an asset is not an asset, if, uh, that if an account is not an asset nor a liability, it must be an equity account. In most cases, such a, a, a transaction in an equity account subcategory called expenses. Now, um, most people are surprised to learn that expenses uh, as accounts are part of the equity category, but uh, clearly when we consume some of our inventory or realize the benefit of the inventory, we haven't increased another asset in doing it. Uh, it's kind of flowed out of the company and uh, in fact it is flowed to an account called an expense. Now uh, if you just start if you just think about your transactions and start thinking now that the source of the transaction, the source of the value that's about to move because transactions are rec rec uh, recording the flow of value through your books, the source will be a credit, will be the credit side of the transaction. And the destination of the value in your books will be the debit side. So that's all we're going to do for this lesson. It's again a little theoretical, but it's really important, I think, to get this theory uh, down so it becomes practical knowledge. And then as you're flying through and, and, and doing your books, uh, you're really going to know uh, what you're doing and you're not going to just be uh, going by road. So I'll talk to you later, son.